Get back with this mukbang thing, y'all. I promise y'all. I'm going to squeeze this on in because the girl do have to eat. But I ain't through running the street. <laughs> you heard me? I am not through running the street, y'all. But I got to stop to eat because I ain't eaten yet. It's 4 o'clock p.m. On this hot day. I'm trying to separate my um, flatbread sandwich here. Wow, not wow, wow, subway. Um, tuna. I loaded, you know, I load some vegetables up here, honey. Yeah, I got loaded vegetables. Oh, yeah. Gonna eat a half now and have later flatbread. I'm gonna try to see. Yeah, you know, see that spinach, lettuce, cucumbers, pickles, red onions, uh, parmesan cheese, you know, the sprinkled cheese, <coughs> and provolone cheese. The tuna on the bottom. That's it right there. The tuna. Okay. I'm going to get the grace on in, y'all. God is great. God is good. Let us thank thee for our food. Bow our heads and all be fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen and amen again. And let's please do dig in. Let me have ginger ale on deck. My whoa whoa is upstairs, but that's good. I drink water all the time. All the time, so I get to it when I get to it. Put some ginger ale in here. Sea room. They toasted the flatbread too, y'all. They toasted it. So. Yeah, hopefully they'll help hold everything together. Let's dig in. I love you, too. Mm -hmm. Got a little oil in here, too. Uh-huh. Oh, they want tomatoes. Or no kind of hot peppers. But I do have green peppers.
I'm sure that is for Tuna. It's so flat. The tuna layer is so thin, y'all. I mean thin. For black olive. Yeah, it's hot out in doors. That's why I'm thirsty. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I barely see me drink when I do mukbangs. Mm -hmm. Uh, honey. Ain't it hot out there today, baby? I have a doctor's breath. <laughs> he said, how's the doctor breath? <laughs> I ain't lying. It's smoking. Hmm. When I say smoking, right now. I mean smoking. Ooh. I don't see nobody. Big I don't know that person. I thought I was that on uh, Cheryl or somebody. Mm -mm. That ain't her. Oh. I mean, I needed my energy, y'all, me, me and hubby. Governor Walls just gave an alert to the Firefighters Union Conference in Boston. He gave details. You can try. He, data. he laid out the vision of he and Vice President Kamala Harris's plans on what they were actually going to do for the Firefighters Union, for all workers, for America. No I thought it was some avocado up here. Why for now? Nah, maybe next time. Actual details, folks. Here, you had Governor Walls say, talk is cheap. Let's focus on action. Play the clip. The flat bread is less calories. A lot less calories than a regular bun, you know, regular hoagie buns or sub rolls. Mm-hmm. Governor Walls just gave an electrifying speech at the Firefighters Union Conference in Boston. Flip bread, I think, tastes better. Not toasted. Next time I won't get toasted either. I try to keep it green, y'all. And don't use the chance I get. It's not just what they've done, it's what they're gonna do. This is the big thing. One of the goals of their project 2025 is flat bread and paper thin. Making it harder for workers to collectively work, allowing employers to drastically cut overtime or eliminate it. So you won't be spilling too stuff. Lightweight. The mail, y'all. Yeah. What they want to do and repeal Medicare and go after Social Security, play this clip. 
He said he's going to re uh, repeal the Affordable Care Act. That thing is pre-existing conditions. Those are things that make sure that the other family gets health care. And for many of our families, and I know you don't get to participate in it, but your families do, my mom does, Social Security and Medicare are life-saving programs for that. Right. Instead of funding those programs, they talk about cutting them. So here, this is what I always say. If you got a billion dollars, you don't give a damn if your Social Security check shows up. But if you're like my mom, that's how you pay for your food. That's how you pay for your heat. That's how things get done. So that check, pretty damn important to protect it. Uh, man, he's just going to run now. With, with that oil. Very good flavor, too, yeah. Very good flavor. Mm -hmm. That's why Governor Wall said, listen to what they're saying. Listen to their words. And Governor Walls lays out a vision for what he and Vice President Kamala Harris will do if elected. And he's mm -hmm. specifically addressing the firefighters you need and you need and work for the general. Listen to what he has to say here. Right, think, think, think. As a union member, as a union member, our union halls are the purest form of democracy. The opportunity to speak your mind, elect leadership, speak what you want on your platform, and then go advertise or go advocate for it. That's how democracy is supposed to work. These are folks that want to make it difficult to do that. Little things. We should be able oh, yeah, to refreshing. So refreshing, y'all. So refreshing. Oh, excuse me, for real. Goodness. That's a fact. Yeah, get the energy, energy building up in it. <laughs> That's what you want, baby. That's what you want. Take your brain, wake up and everything once you eat something. First, y'all like, oh, y'all, you know, mm, got no energy. You feel like getting the darn dumps. Once you get to eating, honey, it just builds everything. Your brain, wake up and everything. Your brain and your body wakes up. Attention. <laughs> Yes, yeah, that's for real though. That's for real talk. That's the end of it. That's flat bread. My lipstick all on the wall. I don't do toasting anymore. Some of you in here, and I'm going to say this because I know we're bipartisan. Some of the gray hairs in here, mm. I know what you're thinking. And I remember it too because it's my family. When Republicans used to talk about freedom, they meant it. They meant it. Not anymore. These guys over there, they want government to have the freedom to invade every corner of your life. From our union halls to our kids. Schools, I will cut their wood those day, y'all. I keep talking about it. I'm talking about it and cut it. What's wrong with me? <laughs> mm. Yeah, look at this ring. That's the dripping.
really light, y'all. Yeah, really light. With the flat red. Don't feel overly stuffed. Period. I'll say the other half to later. I reached that 2,500 subs last night. I reached that 2,500 subs last night. And last time I looked was um, 2,501. So I reached it, y'all. Congratulations to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I reached it. So, start next week. Y'all gonna see me doing that workout thing on the treadmill, like I promised y'all. I have not forgotten. I have not forgotten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be next week. Either Monday or Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So y'all my routine. Ciao. Mm. Man, he's really running. Hello, welcome to another episode of Plug Shay Shay. I am your host, Janet Sharp, of also mm. the pride of Plug Shay Shay. The guy that's stopping by for conversation on the drink today is one of the most popular actors in Hollywood. Y'all well, hearing it? A video in the background or whatever. I don't own the right to that person video. But you may hear in the background. I do not own none of the rights to what you might hear back now. In the background. Oh, that's uh, Tyrese Gibson. You know what? Seen him a long time. But you know what I want to dress on. I'm going to say he got a long dress on or what? Okay, he do. This is this is this is where it all started. But we will leave the rock. But I want to take you back to Right, man. Just, just rub this in real quick. 
Because you, you're doing all that with Coca Cola. So it was long before there was Coca Cola, mm -hmm. there was the black man ash. What is it? And we got to get you right, man. We got to get out here. I'm sorry, he's got an oil for the black man's skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all will be heading out here very soon. I appreciate that. Let me try to go. Like I got y'all going to eat half of that um, flatbread um, tuna now. I'll be half later on sometime. But don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Please do so. I will appreciate it. Trust me, I appreciate it. Very highly. To go do something else. You get laughed at, people are making mockery because you know we love to put each other in the box. You from the NFL, what you trying to do? And here you are, breaking the internet with every interview. And I know to Cat Williams gonna be a tough match. And I'm not here to say you're controversial. I'm gonna say something. That's pretty good. I'm pretty cool. I just want to tell you. Well, that's not bad. Nice and light on this hot summer day. Don't y'all forget to put, put God first and foremost in everything you do. Don't forget to live your best life the rest of your life. Can y'all do that for me, baby? Y'all got to do it now. Okay. Love y'all. May God continue to bless y'all. Until my next video, your girl got to go. Hold on. Excuse me, y'all. All right now. Bye bye. Love y'all. Peace. Out of here.